Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a really fun video that I've never done actually. So today I'm going to share with you guys my favorite lip combos. And since you guys always ask me on Instagram what lip combo is this, da da da. I just feel like I shouldn't get too repetitive and just kind of give you guys a full video of almost every lip combo that I use every day, every other day, you know, depending on my mood. They're all kind of similar, so please, I don't need comments saying this one looks the same, blah, 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 blah. I kind of just wanted to show you guys different brands and different prices because some are more expensive and some are cheaper, but you can achieve the same look, you know, depending on like if you want high end or if you want something a little bit more affordable so you know you can still be a bad bitch no matter what so i'm really excited because i do have a couple of stuff that i have been using just recently and some stuff that i've been using for years literally since i started youtube like i just don't change certain products with my lips but it's always fun to try new lip liners and lipsticks and stuff like that just to see if kind of like you know, what is the new vibe that you're going for so i'm super excited to share with you guys all my all my nude lip combos and let me know down below which one is your favorite don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let's get into the vid all right guys so let's get started with this video so i'm really excited because you guys always ask me about my lip combos and it's so funny because yesterday i was kind of like going over all the lip liners and stuff and i was like i really tend to go towards this specific brown color and i just buy like every freaking brand that has that color but i decided to kind of like show you all the browns that i tend to go for from different brands some are more expensive some are more cheaper so you know whatever you're into you can go get yourself i do want to show you guys some different type of techniques for the lip liners because not all of them need the lip liner lipstick and gloss you can leave some of the stuff out depending on what look you like to go for i don't like pinks so if you are looking for a good mauvey pink color this might not be the video for you because i just feel like it doesn't go with uh, me especially because i have dark hair i try to stay away from very like bright colors on my lip but let me know if i should get into it and find some options and see maybe you know we can bring the mob back but right now i'm just into this very neutral very pale but sexy look and yeah so i'm excited to show you guys all the lip combos that i tend to go for on the daily so the first combo is basically my everyday the one that i just lean towards because i know it's gonna work it's just my everyday i take it with me everywhere i go especially when i'm traveling and i can only pick like a certain amount not that you have to but like for me it's just much easier to just pick like one that way i'm not like losing everything so the first one is i think i have talked about this one it's the jaclyn hill lip liners i love these lip liners they're very underrated i feel like they don't talk about it that much i have tried higher end lip liners and they're not as smooth as a jaclyn hill so my favorite one is hot tea and this has been my go-to lip liner for quite a while now so hot tea is a brown but it's not a very dark brown so remember that everyone has different skin tones so sometimes this color can be a little light on certain skin color so remember that you can always get something a little darker but for my type of skin if you're kind of like me this is literally the perfect brown now the lipstick that i've been wearing almost every day that i love to use with this lip liner is this gucci lipstick and it's in the color linda beige so I just discovered that um, Sephora now carries Gucci in certain, only at certain Sephoras, I believe. I haven't seen Gucci in every um, Sephora yet, but if you do go to your local one and they have Gucci, I totally recommend these lipsticks. They're really, really bomb, and not just because it's Gucci, but like, uh, I just genuinely love uh, the color. So, as you can see, this is a little bit more on the paler side. Kind of just dab with my fingers i'm gonna go ahead and go over with the brown lip liner again just to kind of avoid 
like the chola look so you can just totally leave it like this i've been just loving the gloss look with these type of lip colors just even when you take pictures, it stands out 10 times more. So for this look, I'm going to be using the Batty B Cosmetics um, new lip gloss. And they came out with some bomb colors. I'm not going to lie. I'm super into the very light lip glosses. So I'm glad they made these. So this was in the color Encuerada. So these are very pigmented. So just a little goes a long way. And again, just dab with your finger. And it should look something like this. All right, guys. So I'm going to show you guys kind of what it looks like far away. This has been my go-to lately. I've been loving this lip combo. It's just perfect. I just feel like it neutralizes my eyes. It doesn't do too much when it comes to makeup. So we're going to go ahead and do number two. Number two is also one of my go-to favorites. So basically the lip liner that I'm going to be using is the Bare Minerals one. And it's already tiny, whiny. But Bare Minerals does carry some bomb lip liners. And this is in the color Gen Nude. I believe I have also used this one in my tutorials. So Jen nude for the lips and then I have like a love and hate relationship with this lipstick Just because the formula is bomb. Okay, this is the prettiest freaking nude ever But the only problem with it is that because it's a it's a very um glossy consistency almost like the baddie B um, lip glosses this happens it basically broke on me and then I just kind of shoved it in however I could. So I'm thinking about depotting this lipstick every time I get it because it just, it always happens. It's happened with every single one of them that I've got. And it just sucks because Huda Beauty is like such a good makeup brand. But I think they could have done another packaging for these type of lipsticks because this is what's going to happen. So if it was in a pot perfect like we could use it with a little pencil or something like that because this just ain't it you know and this is with no heat or anything it's just it's a very creamy consistency that is just not able to hold and mold in its place i actually just love this combo by itself i don't think that it needs gloss and i'm going to show you guys why right now So I'm going to go ahead and use a pencil with this lipstick because as you can see, it's a huge mess. As you can see, it's like already melting as I put it on the lip. Like, look. Do you guys see? It just It's just not meant to be in this type of packaging, but it's very pigmented. And there's no need for gloss as well because it's very high shine, so... I love this duo just because like again it's not doing too much and this is just perfect if you're just like on the go and want like a pretty little um nude vibe so so this is what it looks like from far away it's a little bit more paler nothing too crazy so if you don't like those crazy like drastic like lip liners then this one is perfect for you so let me know what you guys think about lip color number two so lip combo number three i really like this lip liner just because you don't need to sharpen it and it's perfect to carry in your bag just in case you need to touch up you don't want to be sharpening it and that's just like the most annoying thing ever so this one is the patrick ta lip liner in the color Oh, she's single. So I just love the packaging on this one because really all you have to do is just press the back and then it'll come out through here. And then for this combo, I'm using the Sephora Cream Lip Stain. And this one is in the color... Y'all, I was really about to call this shit Made in Italy, but I think it was literally Made in Italy. So it says color number two. So if you go to Sephora, it's literally the lightest color that they have there. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this Sephora lip cream lip stain. Oh 
And then we're gonna go ahead and go over with the lip liner. Again, to kind of just not lose that ombre effect. So this one's really pretty if you are into mattes. It has no sheen in it, so it you would just be like a matte queen. But I'm gonna go ahead and just pop in a little bit of gloss just so you guys can see what this one would look like with gloss. So I'm gonna use the Tarte Plumping Gloss in the color Light Pink. It automatically kind of like brings it back to life. And this lip gloss does have like a cooling effect to it as well. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it looks like far away. This one is so pretty. What do you guys think? All right guys, so now we're gonna continue on to lip combo number four. And for this one, we have the MAC lip liner in Strip Down. This one was a very popular one with Kylie started using it and it was like sold out everywhere. So strip down MAC. And then we have a Morphe lipstick in the color Flirt, which is one of their lightest colors as well. And then to top it off, we have the Fenty gloss in the color Glass Slipper. So it's just a clear gloss. We love Fenty. She never misses with the glosses. So the only thing that I don't like about MAC lipsticks is that they don't apply as smooth. They're kind of they're kind of chalky. So what I kind of do is just pray a little bit of my setting spray and kind of just like swirl around like this. Just so we get a smoother like um, application. So we have Strip Down On. And we're going to go ahead and use the Morphe lipstick in Flirt. So what I like about the Morphe lipsticks is, is that they're not super dry. So they do have a little bit of sheen to them. So you can obviously leave it like this. And then we're going to make this like really shiny. I want this to be like the shiniest lip combo. I know some of us really are into this like really shiny lip color so we're gonna make it extra shiny and this is what it looks like far away this one has way more sheen another same nude i love this one this one's really pretty see lip combos like this when you're taking pictures just stand out 10 times more especially at nighttime when you're using flash so this next lip combo is more of like it's a deeper brown color, so either you hate it or you love it. I'm going to show you guys because I actually saw this on some girl on TikTok. And I did it a couple times and it actually looked really cute in pictures. And it doesn't require a lipstick. So I'm going to show you guys what it was. Disclaimer, you either love it or hate it. Um, it can come off a little bit of a Cholita vibe, but it looks really pretty if you make sure that your eyes aren't extremely dark. So I'm going to go ahead and use the lip liner from Charlotte Tilbury in the color Foxy Brown. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Batty B Clear Gloss for this. So like I said, either you love it or you hate it. I know it looks crazy. I'm going to go ahead and back the back up. So this is what it looks like. Now, my lips are really red because I've been like kind of scrubbing off lipsticks this whole time. But, and I just kind of wanted to give you guys the options because maybe the other ones can be a little boring. But literally all you needed was your darkest brown lip liner and some gloss. And this is kind of like the effect that it gives you. Something different if you just, you know, are a little bored of the nudes. If you're feeling a little, you know, extra. But, yeah. Sometimes when I'm feeling it, um, maybe for this outfit, it's just not the vibe. But for sure, an option for you guys. Alright guys, so we're going to continue with the next lip combo. <laughs> 
my lips are hurting at this point but we're not gonna give up so the next one is going to be a morphe lip liner and it's in the color bite me morphe also carries some really really bomb lip liners we're gonna use the lot mac lipstick in creme de nude it looks a little something like this it's one of their paler lipsticks and then we're gonna top it off with another baddie b gloss in vanilla you can totally just leave it like this i'm gonna show you guys both options So I do love Morphe lip liners because they do glide on really nice. They're not super shiny and they're also not very drying. So love it and very affordable. I'm going to go ahead and use the lipstick. And it looks something like this. Again, you can totally leave it like this or you can add the gloss in the color vanilla from Batty B. Again, these are extremely, extremely pigmented. So this is what it looks like far away. Super pretty. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the last lip combo that I have for the nudes. And I'm gonna be using this morphe lip liner and sugar pie again i love morphe lipsticks and then we're gonna go ahead and top it off with just a, a gloss as well so this one does have a little bit more of a pinker undertone which i don't mind because it's still not crazy but this is like your perfect mauve color Since this one is a little bit more on the pinker side, I decided to go with like a pinker gloss. So we're going to go ahead and use the Batty B lip gloss again in the color Bombshell. Super cute. I kind of love that we ended with this one just because I'm wearing a pink dress. So it literally goes. Alright guys, so those are pretty much all the lip combos that I want to share with you guys today. Let me know if you guys liked it and if I should do a more pinky mauve edition of it. But for now, let's see into the nudes. Let me know which one is your favorite and if you're going to get any of them. I'm going to go ahead and leave a link down below all the products if you guys want to get any of these lipsticks, lip glosses, or lip liners. And yeah guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!